I'm Helen Beckett, the editor of the Business Value Exchange here at HPE Discover in the Industry Transformation Zone. And we're going to be taking a look at manufacturing, how it's changed in the new digital economy, and how it's less about manufacturing a product and more about manufacturing a smart, connected product that connects to the Internet of Things. And here with me to investigate all that is Martin Reiner. So Martin, what are the key drivers of business transformation in manufacturing nowadays? Well, it's a broad question uh, because you can see a number of uh, brand new drivers arising. Most of them are really driven by disruptive new technology, but also traditional drivers that uh, have been seen by the industry for many years are just getting redefined, uh, like expansion strategies, for instance. Uh, you know, expansion is not only geographic anymore, it's not only for the sake of uh, find cheap uh, production plants, it's also the whole ecosystem of companies just shifting in the markets where they can still sell and grow. And with that, it's also a new network of suppliers and partners uh, is arising in those markets so that the boundaries of the companies get redefined. And that brings enormous complexity into the value chain and supply chain of the company where they have to react on. Uh, think about data. Data is a big opportunity. At the same time, it's also a big threat because data can be a gold mine if you find a way to turn data into meaningful information that helps you to make your business decisions in the company. Uh, but it can also be a minefield if you're not in a position to categorize your data, truly understand what's corporate critical, and put proper protection around that. Okay, so we have this big expanded value chain which manufacturers have to connect to and exploit. What do you think, how does connected manufacturing, I'm hearing about that, how does that help simplify operations in this new very complex ecosystem? You know, what we call connected manufacturing basically is digitalization, the manufacturing company or enterprise. And our understanding is that a convergence between operational technology, information technology, but also consumer technology uh, is needed to streamline production processes and to make sure you can put more added value onto your product via either making it smart or you wrap just the software around it that can be used by the consumer but the point is that everything needs to be integrated and everything needs to be connected. Not just systems across the layers, but also products, consumers, partners, again, across the entire expanding uh, ecosystem. So this is how we describe our uh, point of view around digitalization and manufacturing. It's connected manufacturing. Everything is connected. Right, so in the streamlined, connected world, I guess, again, the consumer, the customer is playing a bigger part too. They're almost part of the process, aren't they? Well, they are part of the process and, and customers or consumers, we have to be careful because B2B is not a boundary anymore. Also B2B companies need to understand their end consumer behavior because the end consumer is dictating actually future innovation of those products that still get sold. So manufacturing companies that even you know, sell into other businesses, they absolutely need to get crystal clear understanding about customer behavior and a way to drive a feedback loop back from customer relevant data around the behavior into their own innovation process and at the end into their own entire value chain just to make sure that they can hit future demand and uh, future requirements of the consumer. So in this new connected manufacturing that you're describing, how does it relate to HP's four transformation pillars, capabilities? Well, uh, you will find our four transformation areas actually super aligned with those trends. When you think about the expanding value chains and ecosystems, so that of course requires a flexible but secure and robust infrastructure, which is not in place in many companies today. In fact, many companies really need to do the homework of uh, simple standardization, uh, simple harmonization of their infrastructure, and here's where our transform capability, transform into a hybrid infrastructure comes to play. Because this is flexible, it gives companies the choice to go into something that is highly secure, not so flexible, but still efficient, or you can do something that is more flexible, that is cheaper, more nimble, but I think scalability and the opportunity to adapt to changes in demand is absolutely key. And our hybrid infrastructure reference architecture helps companies to drive the change. So hybrid infrastructure is key. What about the other three capabilities? Yes, uh, the next one, as I said, is about protecting the enterprise. Uh, this is all about security, but not only cyber security, but also corporate risk management. 
where again, companies, they have to get their house in order in classifying information and data so that they truly understand what is corporate critical and what's not. Because it's almost impossible, at least unaffordable, for a company to protect everything with the tight and intense level that is needed out there. So you need to do your homework, you need to understand what's really critical, then you put super protection around it, and you need to understand what's less critical. And I go more flexible on that end, yeah? Probably even more public on that end, yeah? If that makes sense. So security, big driver there. Next one is, is of course, about enabling uh, a very, very productive workplace for professional workers, but the professional worker doesn't differentiate anymore between their professional work and their private demand, right? And they want to switch seamlessly, ideally on one device, anytime, any place in the world. So this is what we understand in providing a mobile, flexible workplace, but still where what's corporate critical is contained, is secured, while the end consumer has the flexibility to enjoy what he can enjoy uh, in his private life. In fact, these are the final capability of HP transformation. How, about, how does it fit uh, the Empower? So Empower, the data-driven enterprise, is all about turning data into information so that you can use that information to make better decisions ahead of competition. And this is a huge challenge because the, the sheer volume of data that's being produced today in, in companies is just hard to grab. And many companies struggle where to start their big data journey. And, and here again, it's very important that you put some structure into your data. And then you find a smart way how you turn the data into information, such as our uh, HP Haven uh, software stack, uh, including Vertica and other products that help to get intelligence out of a high volume mass uh, of data. So this is the empowerment part of, uh, of our four transformation areas. Uh, because this is, I think, where companies really can drive differentiation. And think about the variety of data. We're talking product data, but we're also talking customer data. We are talking accessing social networks to understand what's going on out there in your market with the end consumers. And you need to find a way to bring that all together, again, turn it into something that is meaningful for your business so that you can make quick and smart decisions about future changes, future marketing strategies, but also future manufacturing strategies. That's a huge amount of change and transformation that you described there, Martin, going from the whole connected manufacturing process, which is the role of data, customer being center stage there, everything being connected. So thank you very much indeed for explaining the future of manufacturing. You're very welcome. Thank you.